Hey YouTube, <coughs> XBMC Nut here. Um, um, this is my promised follow-up video to uh, MQTT State Stream and uh, creating a dashboard um, using MQTT dashboard. And what we're going to do today is actually add a, a button that acts as a switch. <coughs> so I've got a um, a floodlight that is uh, outside the deck and it's got a song off connected to that and um, we're just going to add that which is really really easy to do so we're just going to come up here and click on plus and we're going to choose a switch or a button and we're going to call it um, floodlight like that and the topic to subscribe to so this is for uh, to know whether the uh, the relay that turns the light on has been active and um, what I did is I've got ESP easy uh, programmed into this or flashed into the sun off and the topic for the relay is just looking at um, MQTT FX here so it is um, we've got forward slash always on ESP easy as the default so we've got sign off and then it is relay and I've called mine whoops relay I've called mine state and get rid of that that's all we need <clears throat> and then the published topic to turn the um, floodlight on and off is S O N O F F forward slash, and we're using a GPIO pin which is 12 and 12. We need the keyboard, that's all we need. Now, this is where the fun stuff happens. So, we don't want to update the, the metric, um, this one here. Um, if I um, look at that there. Let's make sure I'm still recording. Um, we don't want to update the metric. What we want to do is we want to wait, say, three seconds until uh, we get some feedback from the actual relay. <clears throat> and what we can do is we can make um, on as one, zero is off. That's correct. And we can make on green. And we can make off red, and we can even change the icon. Um, see, there's a, it's a light. We should have a light there somewhere. Um, there's a lot of icons there, so that'll be on, and the light off. We'll be that one, and we want to click retained. So that when we control it, the message is kept on the broker. And that is basically all we need to do. Just click save. So <clears throat> that's the feedback uh, now here. Um, if we click that, it should hopefully turn the light on, which it's not doing. So I've obviously got something wrong. I know exactly what I've done wrong. I have not put son of three. So it is three and son of three. That is what I need. Click that and save that. Let's try again. Turn the floodlight on and bang, the light comes on and we get some instant feedback and Click it and the light goes off. So you see the um, spinning uh, orb there that's waiting for the feedback from the sign off. So um, that's how you create a, uh, a button in uh, MQTT dashboard. Very easy. Thanks for watching.